Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm doing a disrupted open cup pour on just a uh, 16 inch round canvas. Um, I'm getting falls now here, so I'm transitioning into this little piece for fall colors. So I'm using some blue, some brown, some gold. So I think that's gonna really translate well. It's on a nice little round canvas, so I think that's gonna be really pretty. And then I will, uh, I think I'm gonna leave some negative space on each side as well. So let's get it on the canvas, get started. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So I've got a little 14 inch round, got from Michaels. Gonna do a little open cup pour and probably gonna disrupt it and probably keeping some negative space on each side of my pour. Uh, go through these colors real quick. I've got my Creative Inspirations in Payne's Gray. I've got some TLP Zeus. I mix this with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, put the pigment in and mixed it up and then poured that into my um, American Flow Draw. Uh, my base coat and my color I'm going to use in the pour is my titanium white Amsterdam. Got a little burnt sienna from Arteza. And I got a little bit of gold, 24 karat. All right. Let's get started here. I'm just going to put down a little bit of white here. Got some white down as my base. So I just cut off a uh, end of a cup or the top of the cup or the bottom of the cup, however how you want to say it. I'm just going to mount that right here in the center. Off center, I should say. Let's put a little bit of white here in the center. gray. Some Zeus. Some white. Some burnt sienna. 24 karat gold. Colors are coming up through the white, which is exactly what we're looking for. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist this over here towards me and put the cup back over here along the edge. Set it down right in the center. Bane Gray. Zeus. White. Burn Sienna. And that's all the paint we're gonna need on that. And then what we'll do is twist this off and around, and then I'm gonna disrupt everything. You can see down here where all these cells are really popping through here, looking pretty cool. The 
Lift and twist. Now I'm gonna drag around the edges and up through the center. I'm gonna just kinda give this some movement through there. It's gonna allow the paint to come back to the center. Fabulous. Give it a little torch. Now the only thing I'm gonna do, so I don't have to do too much tilting around the top to get these edges covered. Love what's happening here. So, let me see how I want to tilt you guys so you can see. I think what I'll do is turn you this way. Slowly, kind of walk this down. Over the edge there. Open this up a little bit by bringing it towards the top here. Bring it back. Down this way a little bit. Still got some extra paint on here, so I'll bring some more off. motion we do with this tilting. Love it. This is so cool. All right. Make sure all the edges and sides are covered, which they are. Love what's happening in here, guys. Beautiful. All right, let's give it a torch. All right, let's bring you guys in. All right, here we are with the wet result. Bring you in here. Got that white negative space up there. Look, colors, 
Beautiful. Let's see how this one dries. All right, guys, here we are with the dried result. Got a little sun glare on there, so I do apologize, but dried really great. All right, everyone, so that's it for the piece. That's how it dried. Dried fantastic. Get some gloss varnish on this, maybe some resin, I haven't decided. What do you guys think? Love these autumn fall colors. Very, very happy with this. So thank you so much for watching. Everyone have a great rest of the weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.